Hello YouTube, welcome to the platform podcast. I'm your guy Mzima Wells and this is day 10 of this new year, January 2024. Karibuni sana manze. As you all know, we are the number one docutainment channel. But towards the end of last year, to change kidogo our style of content, delivering this type of a, a podcast style, ama commentary style. Yeah, yeah, for some reasons. But yeah. Here we are manze and to appreciate all of you ambao mekuwa pa support from the days we used to do stay walk series, uh, wash wash videos, all those type of content manze but this new year uh, ama towards the end of last year to change kidogo let's handle this so and to appreciate all of you ambao mekuwa pa support if you are new here please make sure you hit the bell icon down there and smash the subscribe button as I'm gonna say it is very wrong very evil very wicked to keep watching our videos and our shows without shabby shakaribing it's very wrong please smash it palachin so this is yet mesema hakuna kubembelezana ni kupiga kumaliza na kuuwa kupiga kumaliza na kuuwa so we'll be doing this commentary style we play a clip here and we go uh, deep uh, straight into it analyzing it so today here our videos are about uh, Kenyan pastors how they are the best thieves in the world Kenyan pastors the best thieves in the hall. How do they achieve that? We'll be doing this through the clips right here. Let's get straight into it. So let's begin with this guy here, the famous Pastor Kanyari. Yes, I'm sorry he lost his uh, sister, Starlet Wahu, through the incident happened. I'll talk about that uh, later, Kidogo. Uh, but let's watch this clip of Pastor Kanyari. Ujama, we all know him. This is one of the best uh, thieves, eh? pastor thieves in Kenya. Chatuona na semaji. Alpana nzio ka ametuma bia tano, nani mingine hapa. Alafu Salome Karanja ametuma 530, alafu Kristin Napai ametuma bia tano, alafu nani? Alafu Salome Karanja ametuma 530, alafu Kristin Napai. Alafu nimesema nime ukituma bia tano na kutumia vati dao. Kwa mia tatu na kutumia elfu saba Ukituma mia mpili na kutumia elfu tano Wewe diyo ninangojea diyo nikushugulikie Agnes Alaine ametuma mia mbili Millicent Jungi uh, You can see the clip there That's Pastor Kanyare uh, We all know uh, after the expose on TV um, Number of years, many years ago Al expose on Jichopevu Kwamba he was a uh, conning his congregants alikuwa anaibia wa shiriki so the guy after the knee your conning i think he developed new tactics new tactics of uh, stealing from uh, from hopeless kenyans from uh, his congregants wa shiriki wake ambao they have put their hope in this guy and his lies so in this video sikia nasemaje let's play again Panas nzio ka ametuma bia tano nani mingine hapa alafu Salome Karanja ametuma 530 alafu Kristin Napai ametuma So anasoma text kwa simu Apparently he has a TV station called Salvation and Healing Ministry uh, TV. So in this TV anakuambia ameketi pale mbele anakuambia send money, send a certain amount of money and then uh, let's say it's 500 or 700 whatever amount of money then he tells you the money will multiply. These are not my words. Watch him here. Mwana wanatuma hadi ya kutua Uya metuma ya anito oji Christine Anatuma ya 530 So these names is reading It could be true It could be false Maybe the actual people who are sending money to him Anatuma Like he's reading a text kwa simu It could be true He's reading a text Mtu wa metuma pesa Wanataka yungezeke Or it could be false Anajifanya na soma majina Ndiyo wewe ambao una watch ukue encouraged pia utume pesa yes ukituma 500 anakutumia ngapi 30000 sikia ukimtumia 500 anakutumia 1700 ukimtumia 200 anakutumia 1500 You see, so people are sending money. People are sending money. If you watch him reading the names, you will send your money. Sending 500, utapata ngapi? 30,000. If you will send 300 shillings, utapata ngapi? 1,700. Ukituma 200 shillings, unapata? Jini 1,200. So, and people are sending money. Let's assume people are sending because, okay, kuna tuambao natuma pesa because Kanyari has an audience. He has his audience. Kuna audience ambayo ya ametarget. 
the hopeless people who know akija pale akianza kuhubiri akitaje ujuko na magonjwa fulani atakuombea ufanya hivi na hivi weka magic with glass i'll go deeper into this but for now let's just analyze from here the people are sending money yeah kanyari, kanyari is doing business so wewe uko hapo na akili yako ambayo haina akili utamtumia pesa so uh, let's uh, look at it from this uh, angle what is the logic that i send you 500 shillings then utanitumia 30000 So what? Then what? Nikutumie mia saba unitumie 1000. Ama nzi nikutumie mia tatu unitumie 1000. What is the logic behind? Hiyo pesa ina How does how does the money multiply? By me sending you 500 shillings. Where are you getting the money of sending me uh, 30k? Unapata wapi wa pesa ya kutumia 30k? This is a pure religious con that even though people know he was exposed on TV, people still send money to him. That's how low we have fallen as Kenyans. You will still send money to this guy regardless of how, how many times he'll be exposed on TV. Investigative journalists doing their work will still send money to these people. Na si wewe peke yake, we'll go to other videos. So, because you tell me this is an outright lie. Hii ni kama ile ile game ya pata potea. Unanitumia pesa na kutumia kama imeongezeka. Eh, there's a guy we are handling this this uh, social light tulikuwa tunamshughulikia pale tulimpiga pale in some some bit of investigation last year anaitwa Madola Mapesa he does the same thing eh, these liars this this con men anakuambia nitumie 700 una invest 700 ama 500 alafu itaongezeka ina multiply i send you more money so eh, logically we ambao unataka kutumia pesa yako ask yourself this guy but let me mtumia pesa iongezeka and tumia kama imeongezeka Why can't he eh mwenyewe ajitumie bus 500 na ajiongezee pesa yake kama ime, ime multiply. Wewe uko hapo na akili yako ambayo haina akili you go, just you go ahead and send him the money. Hakuna pesa kanyari atakutumia. These are tactics of religious cons. And he does this on live on TV. Kuna watu ambao pale they are hopeless. They send in their prayer request. Hopeless. Where they just send their money. Tumesema this year tunapiga kumaliza na kuua. Let's speak these things. Let's speak these things because uh, wewe ambaye una akili wacha tukusaidia kufikiria kidogo. So that's Kanyari. Let's go to another. There's another uh, interesting clip here. Tell me down there what's your take on this uh, clip? What's your take on this guy's tactics? You can see there on the TV screen I make up pale number ya support Mpesa uh, lines ziko hapo. G number za maombi zikuombewa. Pray for yourself bwana. Wewe uzi kujiombea mwenyewe? Pray for yourself. If you truly believe in God, jiombe mwenyewe. You need Kanyari to pray for you. You send him money. Ndio alafu anatuma kama imeongezeka. Acha ni upumbavu bana. Haya kuna video nyingine hapa. Ya hii ilikuwa very interesting. This actually is comedic. Yeye hata nilicheka. The famous pastor Nana. Kwanza hebu ni mtu anipe 1000. Give me 1000. Nipe 1000. Nipe 1000. Elfu moja. Gidimu goje hapa tu. Ni perfu moja. Give me 1000. Elfu moja tu. Nikakule Christmas. Dina mude njawa de dia. You see that clip? Ai <laughs> Kenyans, ah wa Kenya. So this is Pastor Nganga, the famous Pastor Nganga, the comedic pastor. Okay, this uh, could be a section of a sermon he was preaching. And then he tells people, bring a thousand. This was just right before Christmas. He tells you, bring the money. Let's see and uh, analyze what the money is for. So people are giving 1,000 shillings in church. I told you, these are business people. These are businessmen who have understood their craft. They understand their audience, they understand their techniques, their tactics and their craft. Let's see what he elf moja ni nini. Ya maudu manene ile. Wewe mtu wa gazeti uone napewa pesa hapa. Uandike kesho. You see he's, he's even telling journalists who are there in church who are then church. Look, I'm making money. This is a story unafua andike kwa gazeti. Like he's even mocking the journalist and the all the people giving him money. Eh eh. Aje ameletewa ameletewa basket ya kuweka hiyo pesa. People are giving money, bro. 1000 nikakule. Ukimpatia nabii kikombe ya maji. Eh. Wengine wanapea bill. Eh. 
Bwana aseo mno. Lete tu. Wapi hiyo nini? Anola manege ngiri meba. Lete tu elfu. Lete tu elfu. Wewe ukirete na songa nyuma. Ainuliwe Mungu umetenda. Nini hii na wewe? Hii ni nini? Ah, you see there. You can see old men and women wababa na wamamas watu wakubwa tu wanaenda hapo na pena pesa so i'm assuming uh, this guy had preached a sermon whereby he's saying if you bring your 1000 you get your blessings that's the basic and simple technique these guys use bring your money a thousand shilling and see how much you're going to be blessed and you see people taking money there wanangangana kabisa nianini nebosha Nebosha. Nikachukue nini? Nakumati. Wapi wale wamenipatia 1000? Goja. Umenipa 1000. Wale wamenipatia 1000 wako wapi? Goja. Goja wewe. Now you see there and asem wala ambao amenipatia 1000 they are going there and then he's giving them something i don't know what he's giving them i didn't really understand what he's giving them yeah, if you think you know what he's giving those people ambao amempatia 1000 there's something he's giving them but in return able to ambia pochi ni kwenye comments what do you think he's giving them goja we goja in secret isi vitu hadharani wewe mtaumisa huyu goja Goja. Oh. Goja. Nilifikiria nikasema ah. Nikasema nitakuja. Goja. You see there's something is giving those people and they are struggling to to get what he is giving people. I don't know what is giving ni kitu gani anapatia watu hapo. I don't know. Oh, nanisha banya wewe. Goja, shika hii. Goja. Sema juma kidogo nikuje hapo. Nimehesabu nilifikiria nikasikapanga. Nikasema naisi hii. Mudrogo ga hii. Na mnange mwakia ga ganie. Unapata? Unaona kwa watu ambao wanasema kwamba sijapata. I have not. Si mimi sijapata pasta. Si sijapata kitu ambacho unapea watu sijapata so how how sure are you kwamba itatosha kila mtu ambaye amempatia 1000 shillings goja wacha kusukumana na gufu utaumisa kiwaja songa hapo umepata aya mtela we mtela I really don't know what's happening there but all I know is people are giving out money and he's giving them something back in return. So uh to un- to be uh, the best uh, religious con or a thief in this country you, number one you need to understand your audience i'll speak about this in my next videos i have a lot of videos prepared for you on how these kenyan pastors steal from you wewe ambaye hauna akili ama wewe ambaye akili yako haina akili i'm preparing uh, uh, some videos that will really be, you'd be able to see how these people achieve uh, their goal so it's all about the mula man it's uh, all about the money guys it's like these pastors they have understood their craft they have understood their craft well and usweda nganyika it's all about the money kama uko pale ungependa kunipiga mawe it's okay just bring on your, your stones ni sawa unaweza kunipiga mawe lakini this year tumesema tunapiga kumaliza na kuwa so those are your kenyan pastors for you and this happens almost almost every church these days i can't say all but ni makanisa mengi siku hizi people have understood they have known this is a ground to make cash it's one of the best business ventures uh, starting a church 
business venture ingine mufti sana and uh, these guys have understood their audience and their target uh, market. So, see you in my next video. I'm your guy Mzimels. As always, keep it safe, keep it right here. I'll be back with more stuff. As always, keep safe and hustle hard.